Lupita Ngo. What the hell is that? Nyango. <laughs> Nyango. <laughs> Lupita Nyango is the most beautiful woman on earth, says People Magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Agana Okonko. Introducing my dad, Dr. Njakri Damages. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. New York City is so great that while 40 people were shot in Chicago over the Easter weekend, New York City police went on Twitter to ask New Yorkers to send pictures they took with police officers. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. The hashtag is my NYPD. <laughs> the pictures that came back shocked them. Watch. The New York City Police Department decided to engage their Twitter followers in an attempt at generating some feel-good PR. They encouraged people to share any photos and experiences they had with their officers with the hashtag my NYPD and the Twitterverse responded with a vengeance, posting stories and photos instead related to police brutality, focusing on the department's controversial stop and frisk measures and people who died while in police custody. You see, this is where the Nigerian police is way ahead of NYPD. Are you not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> the Nigerian police will simply remind Nigerians that the police is your friend. <laughs> they do not have to show pictures of you smiling with the police. No, 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 no. In fact, they show videos. Watch. That happened on December 18, 2013. The policeman, Nasari Mohammed in, in Lagos, was hitting the woman because she refused to sell a piece of fish to him mm. if he would not buy food with the fish. <laughs> you know, in Nigeria, one zero one zero one zero, no mm. meat. Yeah. The woman that was beaten and thrown in the mud is now telling her story. Watch. Started beating me inside the water, beating on my chest. My chest is paining me. My chest is paining me since then. I go to the hospital, the hospital now tell me that I should not be carrying everything, every. Wow. Yes, That's yes, crazy. yes. Yeah. Even her mom has joined in telling the story. Watch her. No, it just cheat us because I like learning your new Because It just cheat me that day. It just cheat me. Nothing do. Then I don't know anybody. They can't direct me. I go go this, madam. Church. Ah, it always ends up in the Lord's hand. Mm. Huh? God, right. God will help us. Yeah. So how was your Easter holiday? Good. If you were like me, I didn't know it was Easter until I got a breaking news tweet from Mary Magdalene. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she tweeted me. It simply says, they have taken my booze body. Uh, yeah. My first reaction was, this bad man put himself, eh? When will he stop? When will he stop? <laughs> By the way, <laughs> has Putin finally taken over the whole of Ukraine? No? I don't know. Is he still working on it? I don't know. I understand that at a recent press conference, the Russian strongman was asked to describe his relationship with President Obama. Huh. <laughs> Putin said that Obama would save him if he was drowning. <laughs> wow. I know, I know. I didn't know that a fish can get drowned in water or something. But Putin was not kidding. Watch what happened to Putin recently. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. When Obama was asked if it is true that he will save a drowning Putin, Obama said the following, watch. If you like your plan and you like your doctor, you won't have to do a thing. You keep your plan. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. If you've got health insurance, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you will keep your plan. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. If you like your private insurance, you can keep it. Eh? <laughs> yeah, he said it many times. <laughs> Just to tell you how connected the whole world has become. Eh? The next day after Putin said that Obama would save him if he was drowning, General Mohamed Buhari wrote an open letter to Nigerians asking everyone to join President Goodluck Jonathan wow. in the fight against Boko Haram. Yes, <laughs> that was a good move on the part of uh, Buhari. Yeah? I, I, and I'm like, I'm like, no way. I didn't know that President Goodluck Jonathan was drowning. No, nobody told me. Uh, talking about drowning presidents, last week was tax day in America. Yeah, have, you, have you paid your taxes? Of yes. course. <laughs> Barack Obama and Michelle Obama reported how much money they made last year. $480,000. Hmm. $480,000. How much did your president make? <laughs> the Obamas, their income fell by 45% from last year mm. because nobody is buying Obama's books anymore. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Obamas paid 60, no, $86,000 in taxes. Eh? $86,000. How, wow. how, how much did your president pay in taxes this year? <laughs> When someone brought that to the attention of President Jonathan, he said, I would have done the same thing, but um, they have not made the calculator that can calculate how much I make. <laughs> Asked how much he paid in taxes, Jonathan said, what, taxes? We own the oil. <laughs> Which is simply crap, if you ask me. I mean, people are taking actions against crafts like that. Sorry, I mean scraps, <laughs> scraps, scraps like that. In Las Vegas the other day, a woman threw her shoe at Hillary Clinton. Eh? Oh yes, that, that Hillary, yeah, that, that one, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Clinton was speaking to Scrap Recycling Industries Convention. <laughs> the woman who threw the shoe said she was tired of recycling scraps like Hillary Clinton. Hey. <laughs> now, here is Hillary's reaction to the shoe. Cycling about two. What was that, a bat? Was that a bat? That somebody throwing something at me? <laughs> <laughs> she said, is that a bat? Yeah, is that a bat? <laughs> I'm like, why won't this woman come to Africa to see where scraps are celebrated? She will need more shoes to throw at people. <laughs> Talking about scraps, are you following the war of words between President Goodluck Jonathan and General Mortala Nyako of Adamawa State mm -hmm. over Boko Haram? Have you seen that? Oh man, man, it is off the hook. I like. Off the hook. Nyako, in a memo to Northern Governors, accused Jonathan of orchestrating genocide against the North. Wow. Yeah, my first reaction is, really? Is it the same clueless, incompetent president that is planning this genocide? Or, or do we have another person acting on his behalf? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Isn't that surprising? Now, for those of you who do not know, President Goodluck Jonathan used to be party party with Governor Mortala Nyako. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not long ago, Nyako accompanied President Jonathan on a trip to Germany. Watch as President Jonathan introduced Nyako during that trip. Watch. Wow. I'm here with uh, the governors that mentioned they will help me to explain certain things if need be because the key team is Nigeria, not good luck with Jonathan. We have the uh, governor of Anambra State, uh, and we have the of it. We have the governor of Adamawa State. Uh huh, uh huh, yes. So, what happened between the two? Eh? Why is Nyako now calling Jonathan incompetent president who is planning to wipe out the whole of northern Nigeria? Why? He woke up. Why? He woke up. <laughs> I will explain to you. Now, the answer is in what happened in that German trip some three years ago. Mm -hmm. It started when a German journalist asked President Jonathan what he planned to do about Boko Haram to encourage German companies in Nigeria to stay. <laughs> please, please, watch very carefully. This is never been seen pictures, videos, never been seen videos. Eh? Watch. But I'm not to start from the last, but uh, let me uh, go first. So, because the first was raised by ladies, and I'm extremely gender friendly. So, <laughs> uh, I, I told the Madam Chancellor today, 
that in my cabinet, the ladies occupy the most powerful ministries. Wait, wait, wait. Stop him. Stop him there. Stop him there. What, what did he say? Ladies are my extreme gender favorites. I told the chancellor that in my cabinet, the ladies occupy the most powerful ministries. <laughs> right, right, right there, he got Nyako annoyed. If you, if you guys don't know, Nyako has four powerful wives, and he could not choose which one to make the first lady of Adamawa. <laughs> How dare Jonathan imply that he, Jonathan, loved women more than Nyako and knew how to treat them better? How could he? Anyway, let, let the president answer the Boko Haram question. Watch. Asked by Boko Haram, they did mention that uh, German companies are quite sensitive in terms of security issues. And what are we doing to contain that? Uh, of course, not only German companies, everybody, even the soldiers are signed to die. They don't want to die. Yeah, he said it. Even the soldiers that signed to die don't want to die. <laughs> right there, right? Yes, that was when President Jonathan lost the confidence of Governor Nyako. Wow. How could he say such a thing in front of a decorated soldier like Nyako, who is, who is still willing to go into the bush at the ripe age of 70 and fight those Boko Haram boys? If, if only Jonathan can give him one, just one AK-47. Just one AK-47. Yeah. <laughs> To make matters worse, eh? why answering another Boko Haram question, President Jonathan said this. So I want to do anything that will end this crisis. I will, read, I will be ready as a government to discuss with them. But first and foremost, they should tell us who are they. They are presently faceless. They must tell us that, yes, we are members of the Boko Haram. This is our leadership structure. If you want to discuss with us, discuss with X, Y, Z. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You heard him right. He said that Boko Haram members have to tell us who they are and give us their leadership structure, permanent phone, phone number, <laughs> and even their cell phone numbers and landlines. He said, he said, this is what he said. Tell us if you want to discuss with us, discuss with X, Y, Z. Eh? Why won't life be this easy for Mr. Goodluck? Eh? Why? So, that was when Nyako lost all hopes in Jonathan. Wow. Now, last week, that Abuja bombing blast oh my God. That, that, that killed over 70 people. Horrible. President Jonathan cancelled the all-important Owambe party in Ebado to go to the scene and visit the victims in the hospital. Yeah, he did that. Watch him. Country uh, security services will continue to work hard. And God willing, we'll get to right. The issue of Boko Haram is temporary. Surely, get to right. Wow. Yeah. He said. He said we surely we get over it. What? Yeah. That's what the president said. And true to the words, less than 24 hours after, President yeah. Jonathan has gotten over it. He got over it. He got over it. He flew to Kano to welcome the former governor of Kano State back oh to PDP. God. Here is how Channel News reported it. Watch. At the reception in Kano, northwest Nigeria, President Goodluck Jonathan promised to work together with the former governor to bring Kano State back to his party. On his part, Mr. Shekarao pledged his commitment to work with the ideology of the PDP so long as he remains in active politics. <laughs> hey. What Channel TV did not show you is actually the real story of the day. Yeah. The great dance. Oh. <laughs> yes, President Jonathan went to Kano to dance while the dead victims of Boko Haram bombing were still not buried. So sad. And over 200 children, school children, were kidnapped by Boko Haram. They were still missing. Yeah. But the president was dancing. <laughs> now, here is the picture of the president dancing. Watch it, watch, watch, watch. Yeah? What, what is that woman in front of the president doing? Who is, who is she? Did patients see that picture? See, 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 see. So. See where the woman's behind it, see, eh? eh? It's too close, ah. too close. So. The woman is not even dancing as graceful as our first lady. Hmm? You know what I mean? Here is first lady patient Jonathan dancing at the wedding of Jonathan's daughter. See her! <laughs> Dancing with
with grace. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. But that woman, that woman, eh? see what that woman was doing in front of the president, especially with her behind. Look at it. Look at that. Listen, my friends, listen. We have seen President Jonathan dance before. I tell you this. This move in Kano, this is, this, this is move in Kano. It's a man that has become radicalized. Mm. This is not how President Jonathan dances. Eh? Here is President Jonathan dancing at his inauguration. Watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's not it's, it's graceful. Uh -huh. But this 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 new dance in Kano, eh? this new move in is is it's not graceful. <laughs> that move I is like what it. I call I don't care move. <laughs> I don't care move. Don't care. <laughs> the man doesn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am mad that nobody has the video of President Jonathan <laughs> actually dancing. <laughs> Nobody, all the people there with all the cameras, how come nobody oh, has that video? By the time my crack reporters got to the scene, you know, <laughs> all they could capture was a video of people fighting when they were sharing money that President Jonathan left behind in Canada. Wow. Yeah, that was all my people can catch. Watch. <laughs> and they said that uh, 25 to 20 billion dollars is now missing from the exactly. NFC. Yeah. The money is coming out. It's coming out gradually. Now back to Nyako. <laughs> so the presidency unleashed its nuclear weapon on Governor Nyako. Uh -oh. Watch. And Nyako is a former chief of naval staff. He's a soldier that has worn uniform before. For him to publicly incite the public against the security forces of this country is the height of irresponsibility. Oh, yes, wow. yes. Damn. Wow. <laughs> it is the height of irresponsibility. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then the big mouth Maku continues. Watch. Politics aside, uh, when people reach a certain age, uh, it, should, it, should, it should tamper, you know, um, their utterances, their, the, the kind of thing that they're supposed to say. Uh, maybe younger people like you and me may say certain things. You say, okay, maybe it's lack of experience. <laughs> Yeah, he said it. For someone like, like that, who is old enough to appreciate, politics aside, when people reach a certain age, mm -hmm. if it were young people like you and me, mm -hmm. we can say it is lack of experience. Oh, hey. Anyway, <laughs> we young people and our big mouth, oh, yeah. I guess we are forgiven for our lack of experience. That's Why it. Not? We can say anything we want. Why not? We, we have no experience. Why <laughs> now, the military did not come out well in all these Boko Haram stories. There were over 200 school girls kidnapped by Boko Haram oh fighters. Over 200. Oh. The military came out to lie that they've been rescued. Exactly. Watch them. We begin with this cheery news that the military has freed 121 abducted girls from Chibok in Borono State. The Director of Defense Information, Major General Chris Olukolade, told Channels Television this evening that eight of the girls, however, are still missing. Liars! This is crazy. Liars! Terrible. Here is General Olukolade lying through his nose. Watch. The records that will confirm from the school by this evening are only eight of that number is still missing. And troops are continuing the pursuit and we are very optimistic that uh, all things being equal before long, uh, the rest should be freed. Oh, no. <laughs> liar, liar, liar. But, I mean, you can get away with lying that you killed 2,000 Boko Haram fighters in one day. Right. Or that right. you captured 700 Boko Haram SUVs right. and helicopters and whatever shoulder to shoulder missiles. But, <laughs> but if you say that you have rescued the girls, exactly. at least the parents will know if the girls are home. Exactly. So anyway, how is the national conference coming along? Yay. <laughs> the old man of uh, Nigerian constitution, Professor Ben Mwabeze, is still talking about national conference. I'm like, when is this man going to rest? Go and rest, my man. Here he is in Abia State, yabbing his mouth, yada 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 yada. Watch. That's the kind of conference that 
we had a visage. That's not the kind of conference that is going on. <laughs> he said, the national conference that we want. This is not the national conference that we What is he talking about? Whatever. I don't know. Whatever. All I know is that the national conference went into committee session this week. Mm. Yeah. Some committees allow journalists to come in and listen to what they are saying. Mm -hmm. Now, here is what we saw at a committee meeting that we went into. Watch. At that time, the Bata tribe were very strong. So if a Fulani man... Point of observation. Yeah. Please, I did not in any way... No, let me... About, excuse me. No, you... Justification or otherwise... No, 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 I'm not talking about... <laughs> just listen. What has happened... I allowed you... To, to I allowed you to talk. Yeah. So you allow me to talk, please. No, just information. Point of, point of order. So... Mr. Yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> All these other Mawa people serve, eh? They are troublemakers. <laughs> Another committee where they talked about resource control locked its doors. Ooh, I heard about that. And so did other committees that deal with the sins of the past. Uh -huh. But trust us, we were able to send in our crack reporters. Yeah. Here is what they saw in one of those sittings. Watch. <laughs> I wonder why <coughs> all my life I've been keeping to those ten creases and even cry. Oh, 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 oh that was a dumb. <coughs> I wonder why. Why, 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 why? Now, here are some stories making headlines across Nigerian newspapers this week. Jonathan hails Buhari's position on Boko Haram. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I swear, the good, thing, good things are happening. As soon as this blood moon called Olisa Metu is gone, <laughs> good things start happening. <laughs> so, no Nigerian got shortlisted for Ken Price. Eh? Nobody. Now that is the danger, that is the danger of having the best Nigerian writing in a single woman's mailbox. <laughs> I know, take heart my peeps, take heart. <laughs> Chima Mandango Zadiche simply forgot to forward your writings to these Ken people. Don't worry, yeah. next year. <laughs> Helen Ababio deported from the UK. I'm like, what took them so long? And why, why couldn't they have done a favor to all Calabar children? By dumping her somewhere in Afghanistan. Oh, hey. Yeah, I mean they, they, they I mean they have hills nice. and under under on <laughs> caves and stuff like that. Be nice. That's where she belongs. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> David Mack begs captors to free school girls. Oh, oh. you know David Mack, the Senate president. Yeah, yeah. To show you how serious he is, he even offered to relocate the gang to his golf course in uh, Scotland. He has a wow. big golf. Yeah, he said you can stay there. <laughs> wow. Nigerian Muslim clerics recruiting Boko Haram members says Cameroonian government. Yeah. I'm like Cameroon. Paul po Beer, come here. Paul Beer, Paul Beer. Mind yeah. yourself, oh. Mind yourself. Don't <laughs> let us make Cameroon our 37th state. Yeah. Nonsense. BBC meets gang paid to join Boko Haram in Niger Republic. <laughs> this is BBC News. Now, my point is this, these BBC people, how did they get to places that S Sambo Dasuki cannot get to? Our national security advisor. How did they know things that he doesn't know? Mm -hmm. eh? Anyway, <laughs> Niger State airmarks 3.2 billion naira for Christian Islamic centers in Mina. Wow. That, that, that's, that's interesting, you know. Now, if you are hungry and you go to them, they'll say, no problem. Just pick up a Bible or a Koran and you can go and microwave it over there. Uh, I mean, that's their, their priority. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage gay cult called Nyash, discovered in worry. Hey, <laughs> Nyash, yeah. My, I'm only disappointed uh, with their choice of name, Nyash. I mean, you guys are gay, aren't you? <laughs> then come up, be creative, come up with a good name. Nyash. <laughs> Nyash. If you don't know what Nyash is, you don't have any. <laughs> look, at, look at your Nyash. <laughs> ah. Lupita Ngo. What the hell is that? Nyango. <laughs> Nyango. <laughs> Lupita Nyango is the most beautiful woman on earth, says People Magazine. 
yes, yes. I've been, I've been trying to pose and nothing. They don't, they don't want me. No, but just out of habit, Angelina Jolie offered to adopt her. <laughs> just out of habit, you know. They are used to that. I, I, it's not. That's what. That's what she did. Now this is the segment we call Secrets of Pictures. In this picture you're looking at, you you see the man on the left is present. Good luck, Jonathan. Uh, in the seventies, did you see that the man on the left has a shoe? He's wearing shoes. <laughs> eh? So how did they sell that story that the man had no shoes? Yeah, how? Know. Anyway, it's time for your email. <laughs> It's time for your email. Oh, do we have you? Did you have a good Easter? This, uh, My Easter what, what was, was great. How was uh, yours? Very good. Very and good. the wife? Mama and Doka. I'm Mama Doka, yeah. She's. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, anyway. Uh -huh. So, do we have emails today? <laughs> Didn't you just say that? Did your I, head is not here did, today. Did I say that? Anyway. Okay. Our go first ahead. email is from Ahmed Kabo in Bangladesh. She writes Dear Dr. Davis. He, not she. I just said he. <laughs> <laughs> I did? No, I said he okay. right. Replay the sure? video. Le replay the video for us. Our okay. first email is from Ahmed Kabo in Bangladesh. She writes. Yeah. Do it again. All right, you guys are not hearing. <coughs> <laughs> Our first email is from Ahmed Kabo in Bangladesh. He writes. See? Okay. He. Okay. Dear Dr. Damages, it's your man Ahmed Kabo from Bangladesh. You can't imagine how miss how how much we missed your show uh, last week. Uh, Anyways, I have a sad news for you. One of your friends, Tahir, uh, that we are studying here in Bangladesh, had passed away. Uh, he accidentally fell into the university lake, which is beside him uh, at the attached picture. Uh, He's from Jigawa State, uh, Nigeria, and the eldest son of his family. So please share the story so that people will pray for his departed soul. May his gentle soul Rest in peace forever. Mm. He will remain in our heart. Mm. Kudos to you and to Matt Sorry Amen. about your friend. Amen. Thank you so much for enlightening us about uh, uh, this loss, which is Nigeria's loss. And may his soul rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Next. So sad. Our second email is from Mohammed Hussein from Malaysia. He writes, I found your show interesting. I just asked, why are all these news channels, CNN, BBC, and all the rest? focusing on the missing Malaysia um, Airlines flight 370. In fact, the world's attention is all there now. We pray that many, that no, we pray that that may humble the souls of the people in the flight 370 to rest in perfect peace. But hundreds and thousands of innocent people are being killed every day in Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, and Central African Republic. Don't forget us, for we are human beings too, and we deserve the same pity and concentration as the rest of the world. At least pray for us. Don't we deserve it? Ha, eh? Mohammed, Mohammed, you said that we are human beings too. Mm -hmm. eh? Did we say that we are human beings? <laughs> I you know are I saying am. it. Did we say that? I know I am. Are we acting like human beings? <laughs> eh? When we go and kill students sleeping in their dorms, are we, is that how human beings are supposed to act? Why do you want the world to see us as human beings when we behave like subhuman beings. I beg, let the dead bury their dead. Next! Hey! Our third email is from A. Akune Tubi... Hey! How do you say that Akune name? Akune Tibuilo nah. of Oka. Oh, okay. It's a big that title. Name. It's a big he man. writes, mm -hmm. the main purpose of this email is to make a suggestion to the state government in Nigeria to use the local tier of the government to control and raid all the roads, both busy and rural roads, of mentally challenged people and beggars as well. What's so funny? I, no, it's, it's funny, no? Anyway, loitering of mad people does not only paint the Nigeria streets as dirty, but also many crimes battering and on kidnapping, ritual killing, robbery, and rape are most times linked to the mentally challenged lunatics on the street. The state and local governments must know their jobs and shouldn't wait on Mr. President for everything wrong. Nigeria streets are always filled with mentally challenged, which is also very risk to the lives of passerby, passersby, as the real mentally challenged ones among them could sometimes make violence on them. They can be kept in a reformatory and taken care of in lieu of loitering the streets. Thank you. Eh? This man self, Akuneti Bulilo. Go sit down. <laughs> you eh? hear that name? <laughs> eh? Go and sit down. I have no problem with, with, with this your suggestion. Eh? But um, I think you need to take care of the mentally challenged people in government houses across Nigeria first. Many of them need to be in the asylum. Eh? 
They are more dangerous than the lunatics you see on the street. What hey. about the lunatics uh, in our police force who are shooting people anyhow and the military? <laughs> yeah? Forget that, bro. Go. If, if you want to get rid of all lunatics, eh, we have to start with the ones wearing Abada. That, that one, yes, that one. Uh -huh. Next. Anyway, our fourth email is from Tolu. He writes. Yeah, that's my friend. We used to eat this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Inaccurate. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I'm, I know what I'm talking about. Ask him. I'm sure. Yeah. Hi, doctor. I'll be your fan for years now, doctor. It's Where are you gonna? Inf when are you gonna inflict damages on this stupid Jonathan? Oh, hey, I didn't say it. Our president. Uh, I didn't say it. No, all. no. Uh, 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 Imagine over 200 people died in cold blood, oh, and this animal president uh, mourned for one hour only and left for Kano for political issues. Imagine yeah. dancing with a useless woman. Please, I when are you opening get, up? Get <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> the woman get behind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not useless, so it's expensive. Okay, go ahead. Uh, please, when are you opening a branch in Nigeria? Or are you scared? Regards to tomato just and tell Omoyele to keep it up. I didn't feel his swag, eh? Uh, uh, his uh, swag. Listen, listen, look here, my friend. I am done with Jonathan. <laughs> That wicked dance he put out there eh, tells me that the man has no ears. He was scheduled um. to come for physical last week in this, this hour, this hour mm. clinic, but he canceled. I'm Just trying like to send a shrink to Abuja to start by examining his head. When we get, when he gets here, we are going to perform surgery. Just, just keep looking up. We are, we are, we are planning to get him in here. Mm -hmm. Once he's here, we'll perform surgery. Next. Mm -hmm. Our fifth email is from Sadiq Abdullahi. He writes, Aww. Dear Dr. Damages, I hope you and Tomato just celebrated your Easter break in good conditions. I also want to congratulate you and Nigerians on their new currency GDP. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's my hope that the new currency GDP, which is number one in Africa and 26 in the world, can change our economy to the next level. Finally, kudos to Ngo Lady. Yeah, Sadiq, uh, you are the correct guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where some people are just sitting there grumbling, smart people are already huh. cashing in. Mm -hmm. Here is Ingo Baby talking about why she would prefer to be poor in Nigeria mm -hmm. than in India. Watch. I've been to India myself, one of those countries. And I can tell you that the situation of some poor people there, if you compare it to Nigeria, I'll be happy to be a Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Our final email is from Kingsley in London. He writes. Dear Doc, I enjoy your programs and ke please keep it up. Please tell the wise man and woman to leave Abuja as soon as possible. It's a waste of time and money. Tell Jonathan to create more seats. No, no. Tell Jonathan to create more states so Ooh. that people can be more closer to their governments. More jobs can be created and less money for governors to buy private jets. Oh. Again, our police and army knows how to bully the Nigerian citizens. I am sure they have joined together so from the Boko Haram that is why they are never caught nor stopped. <laughs> Kinsley, thank you so much for your observation. I will send you a memo to Anonte at the national conference. Mm. He will table your concerns to, to the committee, the right committee. Mm -hmm. By the way, how is Anonte doing at the conference? Can we call him? Hey, hey. Um, producer, can we call Anonte? Yes. Uh -huh. Hello, <laughs> Mazi Anunti. Hello, he, is he? Is he? Can he hear me? Hello. Oh, no. He's counting his money again. Hello, Mazi Anunti. <laughs> oh Lord. He's not paying you I, no money. I guess we'll check with him. <laughs> check back next week. So that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Doctor Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Doctor Damages. Now, now here is my concern for today. It's taken from the book. Ulysses by James Joyce. He wrote, history is a nightmare from which I am trying to awake. Hmm. What's your nightmare? <laughs> Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! What's your nightmare? My nightmare is being on this show. I can see, oh, I can God. see the, the emails are, they're, they're beginning to uh, look for, Inyash? look for Dr. Daniel. I'm going to see Inyash, the new club. Uh, <laughs> she said it. Damn, the new club. Damn. <laughs> Adinyash. See me, Adinyash. <laughs>